Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mouse and I will be looking briefly at a file from a game I got on GOG Hotline Miami 2, wrong number and I'm looking at the data desktop.wat file because it seems that that is the main resource file of this particular game there are some more and um, this is just going to be a brief tutorial on uh, on this particular format it's actually a pretty easy one because if you look at this you see immediately that there are file names now if you go to the back you see nothing else and these are probably all files and judging from just scrolling through it and especially if you look at the back it's not compressed now this is probably a number and usually I mean, there's no magic word. This is 4,468 files, probably. And then you see 1C. You immediately see that oh, there's 1C, which is 28. And that usually reflects to the length of this particular file name string. And that is indeed correct. So that's pretty easy. Then comes another value, which could be a size of some kind usually and then zeros before the next entry starts here with 24 then the file name and then another number now because this is a lower number than this particular number here these are probably sizes because if you look on you see here it's almost the same number as here right yes it is the same number aha so that means this is now a relative offset variable so if we look at it closely we have this number of entries we see the entry starts with the string size then the string then the size of the file or the resource or whatever you call it that's probably a 64-bit uh, number then comes another 64-bit number which is probably the relative offset and relative offset I mean the data offset the start after this particular header so wherever that point is that's point zero that's position zero and then you add the size of the first file you see that that is the offset of the next file and on and on and on and on and on so that's pretty easy um, in Multix Commander, I created a little script for this, which is pretty straightforward. So first, I get the file num, the number of files in this archive. I save the position right here because I'm loading, and then the, the file pointer is here. Save the file, save the position there, because I need to be able to go back here once I'm done with what I'm doing here. And what am I doing here? Because there's no pointer to the data offset, we need to calculate it first before we can go on. Because we need to know what the actual offset is of the first file. Because we're working only with relative offsets. So we need to know. So what I do here is I get this particular string size. Right? I save the position which is here I then add to J which is J add to J the string size I will add also 16 because that's the total number of bytes for a, a size and relative offset and then jump to it and I do this completely and then when I'm done here I am set all set to do this again but now the proper way by logging the size and relative offsets and uh, logging the file names because now I know because when I'm done with all these files jumping 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 I will have in J the actual data offset so the first the actual data offset of the first file so then I jump back because I say it here, jump back here, 
and do this again but now loading the file names and stuff okay so because it's a relative offset that I'm loading of each file I will have to add the actual offset to relative offset when I log it so I log each an entry each entry I log the file name the relative offset and the size I do this for all, everything and then it should work so I run this on this particular file and voila here we go all the files all the file names you see the uh, where is it all the files are right there you see the buttons can extract everything that you need, all these sprites. Look at this. All these sprites. Some metadata and everything. So I think everything is in here. If I see yeah at the end of the sounds. sounds are there, you can extract them easily. Music. So that's pretty easy I think. So you can just now select everything and extract this to, for instance, extracted. Go ahead. It is extracting, as you can see, everything in the file. Okay. So uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.